Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Well, welcome back. We have what you need in this next 25, 30 minutes in this podcast, whether you're listening or watching, we truly have what you need. And I can say that because we're going to custom tailor a healing that's about to take place for you. And I really mean that. She does sound healing. It's amazing. She plays certain sounds and the vibration of the sounds get into your spirit, get into your body and begin that healing process. And I'm not going to say any more, but it's going to be interesting what's going to happen in the next few minutes. Barb Sounds is back with us. Hi, Barb. How you doing? Good, Steve. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So, so here's the deal. We usually set an intention for something mm -hmm. that you play and you've mm -hmm. played before for the intention so people can feel joy or people can feel from it, uh, heal from anxiety, whatever it may be. Today, we're going to change it up a little bit. I, you've never done this before. What are you playing for? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm playing for whatever anybody who's listening, whatever each person who's listening now and in the future needs. So I, I've been playing with different intentions for different things to show people that sound healing can help with all kinds of things, right? Like good things like bringing you joy and, you know, calm and, you know, healing from all kinds of, you know, physical stuff and, and mental health stuff. Oh. Um, but today I'm going to do actually what happens when I do a group sound bath. So when I do a group sound bath, not everybody in the sound bath has the same issues or the same things that they want for wellness and, and health, you know, because wellness um, means different things for different people at different points in your life. And so I can't play for a big specific intention, you know, unless I was to do a sound bath for, you know, anger or something like that. But that 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 doesn't really kind of work because people change like all the time. So when I do a group sound bath, I I know and I trust that the vibrations that everybody's going to hear especially if they make an intention, individual intention themselves before the sound bath, then the right energies, the right frequencies to help that happen for them will come through. It, it's, it's like you're the magical genie in the bottle today because, you know, <laughs> well, I've got three wishes for you. So I'm even thinking, can we think of a few things that we need right now um, and does it even matter what they are? No, it doesn't matter what they are. But I mean, I think, you know, and when, when I ask people to do, and I'll say this now, because I don't have to say it before I play, but w when you all listening are going to do and make an intention for yourself, think of something, you know, positive that you want more of, or something that you've got that you don't want that you want less of. But when you say the affirmation or the intention, it's like just a really short phrase, but you say it as if you already have it. Okay. And it can be more than one thing. So I'll tell you, there's a little thing that I said, I say every morning, um, first thing, and uh, I said it all the way through my cancer treatment and COVID and, you know, everything. Um, and I say, I am healthy and well. Every cell in my body is vibrant and whole. Now, I said that during my cancer treatment when my body was not healthy and not every cell in my body was healthy and well. But that kept me connected and open to the healing that was happening, you know, during the cancer treatment, even though it was like, God awful and horrible. It kept me open to that. And it kept me open to the fact that I could heal. I could be that thing that I was saying. So let's say you've gone through the holidays and you don't feel relaxed at all. <laughs> right? That happens to a lot of people. Sure. So right now, there's probably a lot of people that are tired, that are wishing that something else had happened during the holidays than happened, you know. That some people are, you know, not wanting to go back to work because they had a great time in the holidays. So it, it can be, you know, I want more, I want like, and you would say it like, I want to, well, you don't, you can not, you don't say I want to have peace in my life, but like lots of people want to have peace in their life. Mm 
Some people want wellness. I mean, if people have illnesses, I mean, you know, not everybody is healthy and fine during holidays, right? And holidays can be really brutal for people with like severe diseases like cancer and, you know, autoimmune diseases and all that kind of thing. And if you can't think of anything, just make an intention for wellness because wellness incorporates, you know, mm. mental stuff and physical and spiritual, you know, everything. And then you would say, you know, I am, I mean, you know, you could do an affirmation like I am happy and well. What's and that then, phrase that you said before? Um, I am healthy and well, every cell in my body is vibrant and whole. It's interesting you say that because as I learn about all this stuff, mm -hmm. it's about the cells. We yeah, don't realize that everything that we do, be it dealing with stress, uh, all of the stuff that can make us sick, goes to the cellular level like every yeah. one of your cells let's say you're feeling stress it's not just in your stomach that's where mind centers some people mm -hmm. have it in their shoulders and get tense and everything it's your whole body and when you start yeah. thinking of it that way then it's like whoa i gotta make some changes in my life because it's going down to the cellular level yeah i mean and if, if people who are listening are having some little doubts like oh i can't do all that magical stuff right there's been some experiments done um, where people that where somebody's people's um, red blood cells have been, you know, tested, they've taken a sample and put under the microscope and the red blood cells are, you know, they're squishy. They're not like round, like they're supposed to be. They're kind of faded. They're all like, you know, they're all like squished together. All the things that they're not supposed to be. Right. Right. And then the person plays the, the gong player plays a gong, one gong for 20 minutes. And then they take a blood sample of people after. And it's incredible because the whole the whole shot, the blood, the, red, the blood cells are bright red. They're not faded. They're not all squishy shapes. They're all completely round and looking exactly like they should. And there's nice spaces in between them. And and the, you know, the, the photo is full. And, and not only have have those blood cells been basically rejuvenated from what they were before the 20 minutes, but they've also multiplied. Like there's there's more healthy blood cells wow. in there. There you go. So imagine <laughs> every cell in your body. When you say, when I say I, every cell in my body is vibrant and whole, that even actually me saying that out loud with my voice, I mean, not everybody plays gongs and bowls, but any of you listening, um, you know, can do that for yourself. You say that out, you say it out loud so that you can hear it. But if mm -hmm. you say that, you know, my cells are healthy and, you know, vibrant and whole, or I'm healthy and well, or both, yeah. right? And your body, your cells will start to listen. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, and why Why not? If anybody's yeah. hearing this, oh, it's woo-woo, what do you got to lose? <laughs> why, why take a chance? You know, it's your body. You know, talk to it. You can talk to your body. We've been designed so that we can heal ourselves. Yeah, the body heals. It, yeah. Only, and you know, I I do believe in that, and that in this the saying that the statement that only the body can heal. You can't heal yourself with your mind, and God knows I've tried for years to do that. Yeah, right. Yeah. But like that does not work. You can't heal your feelings and your thoughts and stuff with your mind either. But your body can heal all of that. Yep. Yep. You know. And anyway, th anybody who doesn't believe, I mean, just, just notice how you feel after one of my little sound baths. For sure. Um, or come and do a longer one because you get more from that. And if if you can't, if you don't ha think that it's doing anything, well, then, you know, there's other things to go and do. But well, yeah, there are, but also people, open your most mind. Most people, yeah, I've, I've talked, I don't think I've ever had a client that didn't feel better after a sound bath. I know I do, and I'm kind of excited about today's. Yeah, because it's custom. <laughs> it's it's about, custom, and you get to make the intention, right? Yeah, you start with the intention of allowing us to have the intention exactly. of what we want yeah. to get done here. Uh, yeah. I'm going to shut up. Let's uh, let's dig in so we don't run out of time here. <laughs> All righty, I will switch. Oops, not turn my video off. I will switch to my studio. And there we go. And you'll put original sound on. Okay, so as you're taking a few deep breaths, 
in through your nose and then out through your mouth. You can make an intention like we were just talking about. And on the first exhale, also feel your body just letting go of some of the stress in your body. And on the second inhale, feel your thoughts that have been, I'm sure, swirling around like crazy during the holidays. And uh, this week, if everybody's back to work, and feel those thoughts just kind of gently floating down to the ground to rest. And on the third exhale, feel all of your feelings, which are always swimming around in your energy field. And uh, just feel some of those also settling down to rest. And enjoy this sound bath specifically for you.
My first thought is don't stop. <laughs> no, I didn't want to either, but <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Now I focused on one intention, mm -hmm. you know, another one popped up every once in a while, you know, can't, can't stop the mind. <laughs> it's going no. all over the place. Um, no. But yeah, that was just, uh, and I was, I was thinking of more about vibration, you know, mm -hmm. the vibration that we put out there, that that's, that that's what was going through my mind in, yeah. in, while you were playing. Yeah. Hmm. Well, and you know, we're, um, <clears throat> there's a really nice uh, little meme graphic that floats around Facebook sometimes. And it's, uh, it's got, it's got pictures like of a bunch of people you know, kind of not all together in a crowd, but just kind of standing around. But then it shows like the energy, like that is just flowing, like right through people and from everybody, like, and that's, you know, basically, I mean, the air that we breathe is, you know, is cells moving around, like not body cells, but you know what I mean? Like it's, that's not very scientific, but like everything that we are in, we're in this big, big soup of energy, like the whole cosmos is energy. The whole cosmos you know yeah has energy and we're part of that like you know like last time remember we were doing that thing for of going into your heart and beaming out light and love that can heal somebody if you have the intention of healing you do that for 10 minutes and you don't have to be like a big shot healer or you know whatever guru or anything like you just need to do that and you can you can be healing something on somebody on the other side of the earth yeah. I, I think or, we just, we, we underrate it. We don't realize, you know, the impact that energy can have, what we can do, what we are capable of. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And apparently animals, I mean, like non-human living beings that are on, on the earth here do a lot of their communication through the energy that is connecting everything. Hmm. Right? I like often wonder, telling. like I stare at my cats and yeah. they'll just, you know, all of a sudden they'll just like look in a direction. I wonder what they're thinking. And are they picking up on vibration? Are there, you know, could be even, you know, when animals stare outside. Okay, so they're looking at birds and trees and things like that. But are they also picking up on a vibration of another animal or a person? For sure. Yeah, right? Yeah, and sometimes spirits too. Like, I mean, you know, when somebody's dying, if you have like the, a cat is the best animal to have in the room because they are super connected to spirit. Right. And they can help the soul leave the body. But dogs, even, you know, my dog sees spirits like all the time. Both of my dogs have done that. And and they can tell. I mean, my dog used to be able to tell when the post person was like three blocks away getting out of the truck because she didn't like the post person. So she would just be barking and be like, why are you barking? Right. But then the postman, sure enough, would come along. Mm. So, I mean, you know, I mean, and part of that's just hearing because their hearing is better, but sure. animals can tell when something like, you know, a deer can tell when something's creeping up on them, like they can feel a change yep. in the energy and they'll start to run. And the other advantage that non-humans have on the planet is they don't think cognitively like we do in our brain, because that so messes us up. Oh, yeah. Like all the time. Oh, I mean, it's good. It's good for like things we've invented and, you know, people, people live longer and you know, don't die young as much and all that kind of stuff. But like the drawback to having a cognitive brain, and we can see it in animals. Like my dog is a lot happier than I am some days, right? She's not ever not happy. And yeah. in the present moment, I mean, you know, and that's why it's a big thing for us human beings to learn how to be in the present moment. Because then we're more aware and we're interacting with the energy around us better, right? A hundred percent. And also to your point about the animals, uh, Last time I checked, they don't wear shoes. Horses do, if you want to call it that. Uh, that means they're always grounded. Yes. They're yeah. always grounded. They don't have to worry about rent, car payments, et cetera. If they're anybody just, likes them, they don't worry. Right. About they're just living in the them. moment, picking up the energy, processing it as it needs to be. And if it's, you know, you're their person, I don't never say owner. If you're their person, mm -hmm. um, they're picking up on you and they're mm -hmm. there many times to support you and give you that unconditional love. So when you walk in, you had a bad day and your cat jumps up, dog, whatever, they're, they're reading it. They're seeing it. Yeah. They're feeling what's coming off of you. Yeah. You know, when I was in chemo, um, they, after each infusion, they just, they pump you full of steroids, right. For about three days and uh, steroids are like speed. So 
I would be, I mean, I was able to do things, but my, like my body would be like really jerky and stuff. And I was sitting on the couch one day after, and, and all of a sudden my little dog started going, she was going nuts. Like she was in her bed and all of a sudden she leaped up and she was running around and like for like 30 seconds. And then she'd like lie down on the ground and then she'd leap up and then she'd be running around. And I was like, oh my God, what is wrong with my dog? I'm going to have to take her to the vet. Cause I thought like something bad is happening here. Hmm. And I went to jump up off the couch or my version of it to like, see if I could hold on to her. And I knocked my coffee cup over because my arm just went like that. Right. And then I realized she was totally mimicking my behavior. Right. She's totally mimicking my energy. Wow. Wow. Because huh. on the speed, that's what I was doing. I was like sitting on the couch and then I'd be like, you know, my arm would twitch. I'd knock over my coffee or I'd get up. And you I'd were restless. You couldn't. to the yeah. end. Hmm. Then I'd go back and sit down. And so then I was like, okay, there's nothing wrong with her. Except that, you know, she's picking up on my energy. Wow. Mm. Yeah. It's it's pretty amazing when you pay attention to it. Yeah. And I've gotten to the point where I, I start paying more attention to it. And I just used to think my cat was semi-crazy in the evening where he just runs. I'm like, he'll just, maybe he sees a spirit. Maybe he's feeling something. Yeah. Well, cats, I think when they look like they're swatting something or like chasing something, I think they are. And it might not be necessarily a spirit. I mean, and when I talk about spirits, I don't I don't mean like, you know, the typical TV thing of a ghost or whatever. Right. It can be spirits of other beings, but it can also just be the way the energy is moving in the room. Because like, I suspect that they can see energy. Like, you know, when you look in a, in a sunbeam and you can see all the little dust particles, particles. in the air. That's yeah. how energy looks, I think, to those of us who can see it and to to animals. Well, and so I, maybe the cat's just chasing. Maybe there's this beautiful ribbon of flow of energy that went through your living room. And your cat was like, oh, cool. I, yeah, right? let me let me ride the wave, <laughs> the energy yeah. wave. You know, yeah. uh, I used to think that when a you know, dog would come in from the outside and they do that, that shake, yeah. I thought they were just, you know, changing their position of their fur or whatever. And uh a animal energy healer, Reiki uh, practitioner told me, no, no, they're shaking off the energy from outside to now pick up the energy from the inside. I was like, yep. oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. And we should all try that because it's actually kind of cool. If you try that, like physically with your body, okay. like if you've been like, I mean, for me, cause I'm a big empath. So my body takes in everybody else's energy. So I often do that, like when I come home from the grocery store, this probably sounds insane, but I do like when I come home from the grocery store or something, yep. because that's the only place I'm going now. <clears throat> and there, I picked up the energy of all kinds of people, right? That's what empaths do. And so when I walk into my house, as I'm taking my coat off, I just shake things. Like I just go, yep. right? uh, I got gotcha. you. I've, go I've like even been this to kind of, whew, I've had away. thoughts while I'm driving and I, I'll just go mm -hmm. like this and it's ridiculous, but I'll go like, just like. I need to get that, you know, I need to shake that energy off and then move in a different direction. Um, and it works. I find I have clarity. Like it's, you know, press the pause button on what was there and then move to another area. We're out of time. Oh, <laughs> like, like really out of time. I'm going to cut it off. <laughs> uh, yeah. Very interesting today. And I'm curious, you know, yeah. how that feels. Uh, instant feedback, Steve at gmail.com. Uh, message us. I'd love to know uh, the intention that was set for whatever you needed it to be. And if somebody wants to continue the sound journey, Barb, how do they hook up with you? Um, <clears throat> for my my group sound best, they can go to barbsounds.eventbrite.ca. And there are tickets for my various sound baths there for the group ones. If you want to do an individual session and um, you can go to calendly.com slash barbsounds. Cool. So, yeah. And also all my podcasts and, and, you know, all of my little mini sound baths are up on my um, YouTube channel which is just basically youtube.com slash at Barb Sounds. So if you want to re-listen or, you know, like if you want to just, I, I separate out the sound best. So if you just want to listen to them, I, I know people cool. who loop them over and over. Oh, um, so didn't my, know that. I got to check that channel. out. Yeah, you Love can make that. your own sound bath because you know all the intentions I was playing for. You can go make your little playlist and have your own sound bath. 
Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, online radio box, and simple radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on mytuner-radio.com or search Podcast Business News Network on streama.com and online radiobox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's, it's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit HFOTUSA.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay. 